like I said, man, my videos are for entertainment purposes, educational purposes. Some of the information may be factual. Some of it may not be factual. Some of it may be allegations. So, bro, you always want to do your research when you're watching my video. Check this out, bro. So I'm sitting up here, man. I was listening to Candace Owens. Look, I don't need nobody, man, to come to me and tell me that, you know, as for my mindset on the Democratic Party is that they haven't done anything significant, you know, to to for black people over the past 50 to 60 years. Anything of significance, that's life changing, you know. So I don't need nobody, you know, to try to make me feel bad or come to me and tell me, man, I'm wrong. I know I'm right. I can just I can look at Memphis where I grew up at. It really hasn't changed from an economic standpoint of view. You still got poverty, no economic development, still got hopeless hopelessness, you still got a lot of crime, and it's managed particularly by black people. I mean by dem by, by by Democrats, yeah, by black people, by Democrats. And nothing has changed. And if you look at it, bruh, it's that way throughout the country in the in, in the inner cities of America that's ran by Democrats. It's the same thing, you know, all the way around. And when you when you listen to what Candace Owens just just the video that I'm gonna show you, see, it's, it's, it was all a plot. She's gonna go go over how they ran, how the Democrats part, how the Democratic Party, how they gained black people trust. You know how they ran game on black people. That's all it is, man. It's a game. It ain't like man. It ain't like. They really care. And see, here's what the problem is when it comes to the Democratic Party. The problem is their ideology, man, that they have is destructive for black people. The system that they push on black people is destructive. Welfare, man, is destructive. Having people to have a welfare mindset, that's destructive. Always having people to look out and blame other people, man, for their condition. You know, it robs people of a creative mindset because they say, well, you know what? I'm this way I, I am because of racism or because of some other reasons. You know, it 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 you know, it diminishes black people, you know, ability to take to be accountable. You see what I'm saying? That welfare system always want welfare and having that victim mentality. That is destructive, bro. Because like I said, it rot it keeps people from wanting to do for self. It robs people, man, of having a creative mindset. And not only that, man, it keeps you wanting to depend depend on the government for your survival. That's the reason why when you look in the in, in the inner city, you see poverty. And when you look, man, the government can't take care of everybody. That's why you see it's totally different when you look in the suburb. And when you look in the inner city, it's totally different. It's a mindset. And when you listen to what she said, it's all a plot, bro. When I think about the Democratic Party, this is what it seemed like, bro. It's like they telling people, man, we looking out for your best interest. We love you. We care about you. But behind closed doors, man, they destroying you. You know, it's no way, man, that Democrat, Democrats can say that they love black people. But then, you know, 50 to 60 years later, you see people economic conditions not is not changing and even got worse. It's a plot, bro. It's all a game. But check this out. Vote for droves and Democrats. It's because the textbooks make you think that LBJ, because he literally was the person who signed, you know, the Civil Rights Act. But they don't they don't contextualize that. They don't tell you that LBJ was an avowed racist. He was essentially forced to sign it because there were riots. He was angry about having to sign it and came up with a plan that he would, quote unquote, have those N words voting Democrat for the next 200 years. And that plan was welfareism, the Great Society Act. You don't learn that. <laughs> Just yeah. a Democrat signed the Civil Rights Bill and you got all of your rights. It's very, here are the villains, here are the heroes. So they rewrote their story. They rewrote their story. Yeah. Um, genius. It is genius. You, you got to respect the move, right? My mom used to always say, think like a snake, be pure as a dove. Mm -hmm. So you got to know how deep they'll take it. And what they do is they'll beat the living crap out of you mentally, physically, emotionally. And then they'll say, we were the ones that took care of you. Right. And you'll be like, no. But if you say that many, many times in different variations, you'll somewhat be like, okay. It's kind of like when you're in a bad relationship. When somebody's like that you love will tell you the good things to confuse you, but his actions to everybody else will be like, oh, that, that guy doesn't love you. You want to wonder why black people vote for droves and Democrats? It's 
Look, bro, in my opinion, man, the Democrats' ideology, their system, and the mindset that they've created for black people is designed, man, to keep black people, man, in poverty and to keep them from progressing. That's it. And the reason why we stand in the condition that we in is because we keep adopting, man, and accepting, man, their ideology. We've been hoodwinked, bro. We've been bamboozled. Man, I'm telling you, bro, man, they not black. They Look, the Democratic Party, man, is not a friend to black people. Black folks, man, just don't get it. Thank you for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.